Hi, this is Pinky Jowers. I'm coming to you from my home in Benton, Louisiana. Today I'm going to talk to you about William L. Moody Jr. He is a member of the one of the Moody family, which was one of the most influential families in Galveston during the eight early eighteen during the late eighteen hundreds and the post bellum era of history. Um, this is a picture, I don't know if you can see it, but this is a picture of William L. Moody Jr. He, uh, in 1899, he persuaded his father to buy uh, the City National Bank and they bought it and they renamed it the Moody National Bank in which uh, William Moody Jr. was the president. He was the president also of the L. Moody Cotton Company, which he founded. In the early 1900s, Moody was also one of the founders of the American National Insurance Company. He bought out an insurance company and founded this one, and he persuaded his partners in the insurance to go along with the Texas laws at that time regarding insurance. He was also involved in printing and the building of hotels in Galveston and other parts of the state of Texas. He also bought the Galveston County News and the name of it then was the Galveston News and he managed the newspaper as well. I think Moody reflects how economics were changing in the postbellum South, um, in the postbellum era, I'm sorry. Um, in the postbellum era, farming and entrepreneurship was very important. And banks were needed for farmers, as we found out in our reading of the Sodbuster book. Um, people needed banks to get money to be able to build farms, buy farms, and raise their crops. And in, in return, sometimes the banks would require a portion of their crops. I'm not sure if the Moody National Bank required that or not. I haven't gotten that far into research. Um, they also were entrepreneurs and they competed for business in the postbellum era. They were very instrumental and also in shipping, um, they helped William L. Moody and his family helped to establish the port of Galveston, which was one of the largest ports on the Gulf and the largest ports on the, in the South and was responsible for a lot of the shipping that went out um, from all over the state of Texas. And that shows entrepreneurship, that shows how they were trying to build up the economics of Texas and the state as well. Um, as we found out from our readings, economics is tied to history, and this is very important history. This is very important history of Galveston in Texas. These people were instrumental in helping to build up the city of Galveston and in the post bellum era cities were being built towns were being rebuilt after the Civil War and the Moody's and William L. Moody reflect this um, also the sources that I used were from all from the Rosenberg Library one of them is the Galveston Historic Commission a memorial tribute to Mr. William L. Moody another one it's called Three Quarters of a Century of Progress, in which Moody wrote it himself. And then I also used the William L. Moody papers. The reason I, I did the Moody discussion is because my paper is going to be on how the economics of Galveston was changed as a result of the Galveston hurricane of 1900. And the Moody's were and William L. Moody and his family were very instrumental in helping to rebuild the city after the hurricane of 1900. They were very instrumental in the econo economics of the of the city at the time in the postbellum era as well as after the hurricane of 1900.